So let's have a look at designing an Instagram story template in Affinity Publisher. The last one I did was Affinity Designer, but this one works equally well, if not better. More suited to Affinity Publisher, perhaps. Now this features a mix of layouts you can use to create fantastic Instagram stories. A story you'll remember on Instagram is a series of five uh, panels that display for five seconds each in a row. Six panels actually, so if you've got six panels and five seconds each, there's a 30 second message you can put across. That's as long as most advertisements. But you could have things other than advertisements, stories, how to do it, quick design ideas, very useful things, Instagram stories. Not to be confused with an Instagram post, which is slightly different and a slightly different shape. But we'll look into that in another episode. For now, we're looking at Instagram story panels. And there you go. You can start with a supplied template or make your own. I'd recommend making your own to start with. Um, that way you get a real good idea of just what's needed. Now each of those panels there is a separate part of the story. There are only two fonts I'm using, PT Serif and Lato Heavy. And each artboard or panel in this is 1080 by 1920 to match the dimensions required for an Instagram story. Once you have the template, you'll update the placeholders with your own text, graphics or photos. Be consistent. Your followers will get to know you faster that way. If every time somebody comes across one of your panels, they'll say, oh, that's such and such, and recognize you straight away. Rather than have random images coming up all the time in your stories. So let's start with making your own. Start with a new document in the presets, in Affinity Publisher, of course. Now, design this to be 1080 by 1920 pixels in size, 300 dpi, it's digital, remember, embedded images, and six pages long, no facing pages, and transparent background. Create the preset and name it Instagram Template. Well, you can call it anything you like, but Instagram Template sounds nice, short, fits within the little blue window there. When you've got that done, click on that so that Instagram template appears up the top next to the plus sign. Then click OK, or Create, actually. The resulting canvas. We have one master page and six blank pages. We won't be using the master page in this exercise, but there's no reason you can't use it if you have common elements across all six pages, which is a good idea. Now select page one and add a black rectangle. That's easy. Add an ellipse that's 968 pixels in size. It's positioned 200 pixels from the top edge and 828 pixels from the left edge. And you can see the bounding boxes there. This will hold an image of your selection. Don't worry about the white part of the circle that overlaps the edge. It won't be printed on export. See the pages panel. See page one there in the panel? The white part of the circle outside the border is actually cut off. And that shows you what it will look like. And I have the guides manager there. You can see the two guides I've put in so that I can get the circle in just the right place. Now, add a picture frame ellipse over the white ellipse previously made. You can put your images here without having to redesign the whole template or fiddle about with sizes. Drop your image into the image placeholder, picture placeholder, and it's perfect. For different stories, use different templates, of course. You can design a whole series of these templates for different stories. If you've got 12 months in the year, you might have 12 different templates, one for each, each month of the year. Seasons, four templates, summer, autumn, winter, spring, things like that. Now place your temporary text position holders onto the layers. Group these elements to make them easier to manage. You can see I've grouped them there, although I've got the groups expanded. I've got the words graphic and design and designer, photo and publisher there, and of course, 
In a template, you would simply have lorem ipsum type text there, that dummy inserted text you can put in. There's one element there that's a small white rectangle as a dividing line. And you can see that also in the layers panel. The dividing line is 769 pixels to the side and 15 pixels high. That and the text are lined up to the edge of the black rectangle. Well, the box therein is. Page 1 exported as an example. You can see it as an example blank. And with an image placed pre-export, it looks like that in your design. But when you export it, the third one on the very right hand side, that's what your first panel looks like. Now, page 2 takes a slightly different turn. Here's where you want to start getting your message across. So start with a white rectangle. On top of that, place a grey rectangle position as shown. The X and, y, X and W sides, 275 by 726, and it's X, and it's, sorry, it's Y and H position, width and height, X and Y position. I really am getting those mixed up, aren't I? But there you go. Add a picture frame placeholder to the grey rectangle. Because obviously you'd want to put another picture in there. Lots of nice space. Add a small triangle to the board. Position just above where the text will go. They're familiar looking objects. It won't serve any purpose on your, on your um, Instagram storyboard. But it will serve to remind people. It looks familiar. It's something familiar on the screen. And it's position and size are listed there. You can put that on or not. That's entirely um, your choice. Now let's put a frame text place marker into a small group and place it just below the triangle. Now you can see I've got frame text set up there. Centered on the page is best, leaving a wide margin around it. Keep in mind that your followers only have five seconds to see a page and read what's on it. So don't Put the works of Shakespeare across one page. No one will have the time to read it. You've got five seconds and that's it. Instagram stories are about quick bites. Now, page three, and you can see how to lay out the pages. Black rectangle, artistic text, text frame, and continue right along to page four. You can see in the layers panel there how they're set out. There's very little to them. You can put nice graphics on there, you can put um, great statements on there, you can put um, calls to action, you can put images of whatever you're producing. Maybe you make, um, maybe you do sublimation, maybe you do design work, maybe you do book covers. Now here's a chance with six panels in a storyboard to display six example book covers. How great is that? Neat, simple, reaches lots of people. Now, page 4 is similar, with the elements changing each time. You've got a grey square, and on top of that, a text box. You can see in the, uh, in the layers panel on the right hand side, very similar ideas. Page 5 with P3, three picture frame place markers over grey rectangles. Fairly straightforward. This makes it easier if you have transparent background images. They won't disappear into the screen background. And some text along the bottom, a caption or a credit for images used maybe. Finally we reach page 6. Now the ellipse is 526 pixels in size and the yellow rectangle is 1080 by 578. So obviously the white ellipse is centered halfway between the yellow and the black. You can see it'll sit on the borderline right in through its center there. You can see the layers panel on the right hand side. Now examples of histogram, histogram, Instagram story pages. You'll find me and this example on Instagram at ra.chalmers on Instagram. And I put that one on there as an example of 
a story that flicks by so you can see how it works. You may find others by the time you get there. When you're ready to post your story, select export and set the format to JPG. Instagram likes JPGs. Select export all pages. Now Publisher will number each page for you. It'll have the same title and you can see in the little insert up there 01 Instagram story template 654321 so it numbers each one. To post on Instagram you'll need to get these exported images into your phone and you'll know how to do that. To do this save them to a cloud app perhaps that you can access on your phone. Apple Photos is a good example. Each static image will appear in the story for 5 seconds. You can mix video with the images to enhance your story. Have fun. See you on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. There's lots of these short videos for you to enjoy. Click the like button and tip the bell. Um, the bell will ring or you'll be notified each time there's a new video to see on YouTube.